I think one of the key initiatives that we have for sustainability was our overall approach for sustainability. Rather than just focusing on the absolute minimum to get contract conditions or to meet sustainability targets, we really took a deeper focus on all elements of the rating tools and we really created a broader piece for sustainability. It's what we call our ethical approach for sustainability. And by doing that, we actually came away with a broader sustainability result and the performance results followed. Take the time at the very front end of the job to identify your challenges. If you can identify your challenges, you can set up the appropriate obje objectives to resolve those challenges and you've really set yourself up a roadmap for success. Once you've set that roadmap, you could just basically need to get the team to follow that path and then the performing results should follow, followed by the rating results. Secondly is a tip to make sustainability easy to do for others. Currently sustainability sits in a world for technical specialists or specialists alike. What we did at Bayswater was we made it easy to do for others to implement on the ground. Everyone in a range of different teams from commercial um, to construction to design to engineering to operational systems, they all had an understanding of what they needed to do under the rating tools and how to interpret the requirements under the rating tools. By having that understanding, everyone created a sense of ownership on what they needed to do on the ground and it actually ga gave way to um, delivering a lot of really high sustainability performing outcomes. Another tip which I grabbed from an Andrew Ackerman's speech who is our Alliance General Manager at Bayswater um, is panic early and don't panic late. Now whilst this message was targeted for other reasons, it really sells home for sustainability. I think sustainability professionals and the whole team should just really invest in sustainability at the very front end of the job. Take the time to invest very, very early in the bid development phase, then follow into the design, then into your engineering, procurement and construction methodology. If you do this in this order, the, rating, the performance outcomes should show at the end of the job and the rating results will follow. My last one, and I'm a firm believer in this tip, is to make sustainability attractive, sell it, give it a brand. Sustainability is very much a culture piece, just like many of the other functions in a project. And if you can create that positive culture for sustainability by giving it a brand, selling it, promoting it, doing anything that you need to do to make attraction for sustainability, it creates that engagement piece with the whole team and also the client. At the end of the job, everyone in the project team should have a clear understanding of why they're doing sustainability, how to do it, and why they should do it for the next job. If you can do that, the client have already got an engagement for it and all the other key stakers involved for the project.